Hello everybody, it's a pleasure for me to introduce Frida Gustafsson Bueno and Anne-Sophie Ritholm. Uh, we are going to have some questions related to uh, Vitra schools. So, Anne-Sophie, we would like to know everything about Vitra. <laughs> Can you tell us in a very short time what all this is about, this wonderful experience? Uh, I'm, I'm very glad that you, you are interested in Vitra and I'm glad to, to present uh, the, the, the great, um, the, the biggest things that we work in with Vitra. And we try to, to divide it up in three parts and we call them uh, motivational learning, safe culture and explicit structure. And uh, when we hire people, we talk a lot about this from the beginning, so that when you start working together with us, you know that this is what we want to do and this is how we want to work. And under these three guidance, we, we, develop, we, we develop even more specific parts so it would be easier to work. What does the motivational learning mean? What do we do and what is m the most important parts of it? And then we divide it up into clearing up clear objectives, IDP process, and study techniques because we think that is something that need leads to motivated kids and to to l easier learning for them. And uh, the safe structure we we divide into three parts that we call common rules, uh, cooperative exercise, and group gathering. And that is, is also something that we, we work with uh, during all the, the, the lessons. And we also start uh, some of our mornings with a gathering, talking about these um, group things, like um, what happens in the world and how does this affect us and uh, what does it mean to us and how can, we, how can we work with it in a further way. And then we also have the explicit structure that we talk about periodic, uh, periodic work knowledge monitoring and collegial learning and uh, periodic work is just a structure that we divide our uh, year in six parts and uh, after every six weeks uh, we have we let the children be, <laughs> be free or uh, so we uh, in the teaching group have the days together that we gather around and talk about how uh, talk about what um, what has we what has been done during these six weeks? What what have we done good? What do we need to improve? And then we change small parts of it if it's the the group uh, complexion or if there's uh, some teacher who needs more guidance or something. And then we change that during these short periods of pauses that we have in the teacher staff. And then we work for six weeks again, and then we make the same routine. We evaluate what has been done good and what needs to be changed, and that is something that we s have seen is very, uh, very successful. It, it's it's um, it's a good thing or a, a good way of working for us. Uh, and then we have the knowledge monitoring, which means that we every six week evaluate how is it going for each kid in our school. Uh, are they doing fine? Do they have uh, any? Uh, um, problems that we need to help them with, difficulties <coughs> that we need to help them with, uh, and what do we as a school or staff or what do I do as a principal, what kind of um, possibilities do I need to give my uh, teachers to do an even better job with these children. Um, and then we also have the collegial learning, which means that we every week gather around in the teacher group talking about um, uh, how, how can we improve our learning? How can we improve uh, of our um, learning environment or things like that? And that is also something that Annika is talking about in her lecture today. Okay. Yes. Um, I, something that um, might be interesting to know is a little uh, more details. Uh, your role as a head in a Vitra school and perhaps that this is, it can start from kindergarten all yes, throughout primary right. and the senior school and so on. So if you want to add more details or some uh, uh, experiences uh, related yes. to that. 
uh, I gladly share, uh, share this, uh, that um, uh, one of the most important things for me uh, as a, a chief is that I need to have good, uh, uh, good relationships with, with everyone in school, both the students, the parents and the teachers. And I know that when you, when you work with the children, they are in the center of it. But my work as a, uh, a principal is to, to make sure that the teacher has the right opportunities or the right tools to help the children uh, go through their education in the best way possible. So I think that re the relationship that you build up together in the school is, is the fundament to a good school. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> <laughs> and it's uh, something very difficult to achieve. Absolutely. It, it takes a lot of work. And I think also that you need to know that all the, the staff has to have this, uh, the same, um, um, how shall I say it? Um, Purpose? Yes, and, and, and the, they, they need to, to yeah. know the meaning mm -hmm. of it, that we need to breathe it and work with it all it's day like through, yes, mm -hmm. and and uh, actually, I think m one of the most important thing is that it, it doesn't all only happens during the class. It happens after Everywhere. class, mm -hmm. during breaks, during lunchtime. You need to be there and show them that you 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 care and you want them to to succeed in school. If you only show that in the classroom, yeah, it you it could easily fail because then the, the students feel that you, you only care for me as a student, not as a human being. Mm, very mm. interesting. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. So now I'm going to ask you, Frida, I would like um, uh, you to tell us what was your experience of working uh, with Vitra in the city of Buenos Aires? Oh, thank you for asking. Uh, 2013, the, the Ministry of Education in the city of Buenos Aires started a project uh, with a plan to innovate schools in, in the city. So they chosen 12 schools in the city of Buenos Aires that could choose from an international role model to inspire them in their own development. And the f there were four international role models. It was in International Bachelorette, you say that? Yeah. yeah. Boston, uh, yes, Boston Art School yeah. and the Finnish school system and Vitra, okay. who was the four international role models. So I receive, I work in an in a education, uh, in a company that works with school development. Okay. So I was contacted because I have been working in Vitra for 15 years and it was asked if I and a colleague could, could be be a part of that project in the city. So we came to Buenos Aires for the first time in 2013 and met with the school. I How think many schools? Are you one school shows some vit to Vitra to be their role model. Yeah, okay. but it was 12 schools in the project. Okay. Yes. So we worked with uh, Escuela number 16 in the fifth district. Do you okay. say that? Yes. yes. Perfect. I call it La Banderita. I call the school La Banderita. Okay. So we work with La Ban the teachers and the, the principal and the, the school board. Uh, for primary, secondary? Yes, primary and secondary. To up to the seventh grade? Ah, primary. Primary. Okay. Yes. Uh, so we, we went here 2013 in September, the first time, and uh, was kind of struck with, a, with, you know, you think teaching and, and learning is universal but it's also kind of context situated, yes. Like, yes. So we came with the Vitra culture and the Swedish educational culture and, and learned in the most fascinating way the Argentinian culture and, and the school system here. It was a great experience. And then we went back for f three times. So I was working with La Banderita together with a colleague uh, four times. For how long? Uh, we we our last trip was October two thousand fifteen, I think. Okay, yes, so, you did so, so during three years. Very good. Yes, and then some people from Buenos Aires also came to Sweden to visit Vitra schools okay. uh, during that project. It was great, uh, and it was it's, uh, what we when we came over, we thought have the thought that we were going to inspire and tell the school all about Vitra, but you you kind of 
fast realized that when you're talking about learning experience, it's so mutual. You need to, well, how do you do this? And, and we do it like this. And, and sharing you, you're sharing al experience. always. Yes, it was nice. A great challenge. Yes. A great challenge. Yes. Well, thank you so much for sharing uh, thank with you. us thank you for having your us. experience. And now we are off to the lecture. Oh. Mm. Is that okay? Yes. Looking forward to it. Okay. <laughs> thank you.